Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're switching things up a bit. You guys have been asking for a try on haul, so I'm delivering today and it's gonna be Shein. You all have requested a number of times that I do an official Shein try on haul, but before we go any further, if you have not subscribed to my channel, Go ahead and do that now. Also, follow me on Instagram. Typically, I do most of my fashion content over there, but I'm gonna try to do a little better over here on the tube. So I'm gonna do that. I have a huge box with tons of things that I ordered from Shein. I also have a bag of additional things. Not sure how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna be giving you guys some outfit ideas. Telling you guys a bit about their clothing, how they fit, are they true in size, is it worth your coin? It's really affordable though, so I'm not sure why that question is being asked, but if you're gonna spend your money, you do want quality clothing, so I get it. So we're gonna be trying these things on. Let's get to it. Oh. All right, y'all, so this is the first outfit. I have on this white peplum top, and I paired it with this denim jean skirt from Shein. It is somewhat of a mini, but it's not too short to where it's showing too much of your legs. And then I put on these boots, and these are actually not from Shein, they're from Fashion Nova, I believe, just to give me a bit more coverage in my leg area. And I can still put my hands down by my side, so the skirt is not too short, that's the rule, you know? Now I will say that I do like the material for the skirt, but I probably could have used maybe an extra large. I believe I got the skirt in a large, and just in the hip area, I feel like it's a little restricted. So I would have liked for it to have a little more give here, because there's not much stretch. There's only a little teensy winky bit, but it still fits me, it works. And maybe as I move around in it, kind of work, break it in a little bit, it'll probably fit much better. And the jean skirt, as you can see, does have some distressing at the bottom, which adds a really edgy appeal. I actually don't have a denim skirt, so this is my first one, and I really like it. It looks really cute. And if you wanted to jazz this look up a bit more, make it look even more edgy, you could put on a bomber jacket. Now where I live, it hasn't really gotten too cold yet, so I wouldn't need a bomber jacket. I could wear the outfit just as is. But if where you're located, is on the cooler side right now for the fall, then you can put on a little jacket like this one. And this looks really cute. Now, I wish I had gotten this jacket in a size medium. I got it in a large. I feel like a medium probably would have fit me much better. All right, y'all, let's talk about this outfit. Now, I love the blazer. The blazer is absolutely gorgeous. It's a really nice bright yellow color with black buttons. I adore the contrast of the yellow with the black. I think that looks so good and also so classy. Now, I was going for a no shirt under type look. I wish they had a button right here. That would have been perfect for me. But some individuals like the deep plunging neckline, but I'm really not a fan of that. I prefer to have a little more coverage here. I'd probably have to put a little tank top under it, but it's okay. Now for the pants. The pants, however, do not fit, and you cannot see that because I have the blazer buttoned all the way up, but y'all, if I open it up, you're gonna see that these pants, not only do they not fit, they don't match the blazer. I was hoping that the two colors would be perfect, but they aren't. The pants are more so of a mustard color, so they don't actually match this yellow, but you could maybe get away with this, but I'm really not liking them together. I feel like separate they probably work, but not paired together. But these pants don't fit. I think I got them in a size large, and I believe that was the largest size that these pants came in. I wish that Shein offered all of their items up to an extra large. And then for the curvier line, they have, I believe it's 1X to maybe 3, 4X. My mom is now purchasing from Shein. Um, but yeah, you all get the idea. It was supposed to be a yellow suit, but yeah, <laughs> didn't quite work out. And I just paired it with my clear Zara heels. Okay guys, so here's the next outfit. It's just a rib dress and it's in the color olive green. That's one of my favorite color greens. And this is a really nice neutral. I feel like this dress is really, really comfortable guys. And it's long. This dress is so fabulous. You could wear it on a date night and also to work because of the length of it, the level of comfort that you have in it. I'm gonna pair it with these heels that I got from Shop Akira. They're so, so cute and I love the pointy toe. So I'm just gonna put these on now so you all can see the full look. 
And I really like the neckline on this dress as well. I like that it's not too low and that it's also a V shape. Every now and again, I like the round shape neckline, but I really like a V shape neckline much better. This is the next outfit that I got, this really nice wrap dress. And this one is in the color black. And it has this really nice pearl beading that would actually be great for like New Year's or a holiday party or something like that. But I think it's still really fall appropriate in that it's not too thick. Actually on the website, I thought it had more of a sweater material, but it's actually more of a jersey material. Super lightweight and it's not too thin to where you can see through it. And it's long enough to still be great. If you wanted to wear it to work, you could. I paired this outfit with the same shoes I had on prior, and it looks really nice. This next look is a really nice casual chic look. I paired this nice long midi skirt with this phenomenal woman top that I found on Amazon. I told y'all I really like Olive a great deal. And this is one of those outfits that doesn't necessarily go in regards to color, but it goes if you have the confidence to rock it like this. I don't know, when I saw this skirt, I was like, man, I think this top might work with it. And I wasn't sure, but I put it on and I was like, I think that works. I think it's really, really cute. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this outfit. It's actually, to be honest, one of my favorites. I don't know, it just kind of looks like one of those nice, fresh looks, effortless, really edgy and chic, and it just works. And I actually decided to tie up the side of the shirt to make it look a little more fun and flirty. And it just looks really cute, guys. And the material for this skirt is actually more so a spandex material. So it is forgiving and it is stretchy. So I could have actually probably went down a size. I got it in a size large, but a medium probably would have worked on me as well. I was also hoping that the bottom of the skirt was a little more tapered so that it kind of came in some, but it's actually more so straight. But um, it still looks good. And it does have a slit in the back, as you can see. I hope you can see that. I also got a leather jacket. I believe I got two leather jackets. So we're gonna see what those look like with this outfit. And this one is a collarless leather jacket. Ooh, I know I'm gonna like this. Yeah, it's cropped perfectly. I like that it's not too long. Yeah, that looks really good with this outfit. I like it. Yeah, brings the look together even more. So you can wear without the jacket or with, just for added flair. And it's just gonna step it up a notch. Now this is for the individuals that are a little less adventurous with their fashion. I decided to also pair this skirt with a cream turtleneck. And I think this look also looks really nice and stylish, but it kind of doesn't take you out of your comfort zone too much. So you all let me know in the comment section which one you all prefer. Do you like it with the turtleneck or do you prefer it with the Phenomenal Woman t-shirt? Y'all, this outfit is my absolute favorite. This fuchsia pink plaid suit is amazing. It actually came as separates. I saw the blazer on the website and I said they have to have some pants to match and I'm so glad they did. And the great thing about the pants is that they do have pockets. They're really stretchy. Guys, this material is not restricting at all. It's not stiff. Now I do have to tell you guys that it's not made of the most top quality material. It does feel cheap, but it looks expensive. Now someone looking at you in this outfit is gonna think that you spent a lot of money. But if they were to actually touch the material, or if you try the material on yourself, you're gonna say, yeah, this feels cheap. But it doesn't look cheap. So that's the good part. And it's really, really comfortable. Like this outfit will be so perfect for fashion week. It'll be great if you're going to a job, especially one that is fashion related. I feel like this will be so awesome. And y'all, I didn't even have to put a shirt under it because it buttons so perfectly on the side. So it's not exposing too much of my cleavage, which I don't really like to happen. Y'all look how sassy this look is. These pants I was so nervous about. I honestly did not think they were gonna fit at all, but they do. Got that Catwoman feel to them. And I like that they button up in the center rather than zipping up. And these really help to center in the waist. They're high-waisted, but I wish they were a little more high-waisted because 
the bodysuit that I pair with it, it actually exposes the black area here. So I will actually have to put on some different pants with this particular top because it won't work. You can actually see where this material stops on the top. This is what these pants look like with this rusty orange turtleneck. Really fall appropriate and it looks really classy. Now I do really wish that these pants had pockets. I feel like that would have taken it up a notch. I love pants that have pockets, but these do not. They don't have pockets in the front or in the back, but this turtleneck looks great with it. This outfit would also look really great with the blazer. On the website, I saw this olive green blazer and it already has the sleeves folded up, which is a really cool thing because I always fold the sleeves of my blazers up. And the blazer really gives it a nice earthy look to it. And it helps to tone down the pants. So it takes it from looking like an outfit that you would definitely wear for a night out to maybe a work appropriate outfit with the blazer. This is the next outfit guys, this nice floral print dress. The color is so fall appropriate. I love the lantern sleeves that it has and also the elasticity in this area here. It has a cuff design along the lower length of the sleeve, which is really cool. I don't know if you all can see how that's made. So pretty. I love the color of it against my skin tone. It looks really nice. And I'm really fond of how lightweight this material is. The belting along the center is a nice added feature and the length is not too short. Just to spice up the look a bit more, I did pair it with these boots that I got from Fashion Nova, I believe. They're a taupe color, and I felt like it would look really nice paired with this colored dress. This dress is a button front dress, and I do like the brown buttons that they added with it. Now, I do feel like it's slightly too small in this area here, but if I were to unbutton the first one, it's not causing me to have too much cleavage out, so I do like that. Okay guys, so we made it to the last outfit. If you are still hanging in there, thank you so much, I appreciate you. This last outfit I had high hopes for, but it's a major disappointment. It doesn't fit. It's this nice two-piece skirt set, and it is a mini skirt, but I was hoping it was gonna be a bit longer on me. I don't know why I thought that, but I was hoping that the material also stretched and it doesn't at all. I think I'm gonna have to do a giveaway with this one and also the yellow pantsuit because that wouldn't fit. So yeah, really nice, cute set. And guys, if you move walking in this one, it rises so your tail is gonna be out in the back. The cool thing about a two-piece set is that you can make so many different outfits with each individual item, but I'd probably be able to wear the blazer. The skirt is just a no-go. I couldn't even zip it, guys. Everything's hanging out. And it creates a little pooch here in the midsection, not flattering. So yeah. This one was good in theory. I would recommend if you're gonna get this particular outfit, that you go a size up because it's not true in size, especially because there's no give in the fabric. If the material was stretchy, it would fit perfect, but there's no stretch or anything. So yeah, this one didn't work out, but it's really, really cute. Oh, and I paired this outfit with this outfit of the day t-shirt. I literally just grabbed the first t-shirt in my closet because I wanted to have a t-shirt look with this, this, um, this outfit. And I think it looks cute if it fit, but it doesn't. All right, y'all, so that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this trial haul. Let me know if you all wanna see more trial hauls in the future. And be sure to leave a comment and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna do a random giveaway. So I have two outfits, this one and this one that I'm gonna be giving away. Now I'll share with you guys, these pants don't match this blazer, but I did get this blazer about a week or so ago on Amazon because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be available on Shein. So now I have two. So I'm gonna give this one away and this one, not my t-shirt, but <laughs> the blazer and the skirt. So you all leave a comment and let's do a giveaway. I love you guys. I look forward to hearing your comments and feedback. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye y'all.